pit stop check, we've got our snacks, and we're ready to hit the road. The next time you're in Galveston, you want to experience the island in a very unique way, go to the Harbor Tour at the Texas Seaport Museum. Come on board and let's take a look. Join Joe as he chronicles his road trips through the cities, towns, highways, back roads, and various regions of the Lone Star State. This is Texas Chronicles with Joe Perez. Galveston has been the main destination for vacationers and those who seek fun in the sun. From enjoying an ice cream cone at La King's Confectionery to experiencing the history of flight at the Lone Star Flight Museum, Galveston is full of exciting things to do, but if you want to explore the island in a unique way, visit the Galveston Historical Foundation Harbor Tour at the Texas Seaport Museum. First and foremost, we are a historical uh, site, but really the number one people want to come and see is dolphins. So what we like to call our tour is infotainment. We mix in a little bit of information, historical facts, tell you about what you're seeing in the channel and harbor and bay. Uh, but ultimately we're looking for dolphins. That's what people that uh, don't live near the coast like to see. And nine times out of 10, we see them. I've done well over 2000 dolphin tour trips here in Galveston at the Texas Seaport Museum. What a great way to discover the island by hopping on board the Seagull 2. The Texas Seaport Museum's 50-foot twin-engine motorboat is fast and stable. This vessel was built specifically for harbor sightseeing, excursions, and education. The Seagull 2 has a comfortable main deck sheltered from the sun and rain. An upper deck affords a full panorama view of water and sky. The island's unique history is brought to life by Captain West. Oh, come on. That was an original <laughs> joke. I have never used it. I have never used that joke, and I love it. I don't get it. I don't want to hit the jackpot. <laughs> well, what is unique about the Texas Seaport Museum is the Alyssa, tall ship Alyssa, is the official tall ship of Texas. She has ties to Galveston, and so rather than your typical tourist sites where you go to the same restaurants, the same locations, you're going to step back into some history in Galveston that has ties to Galveston. She visited here twice delivering cargo in the late 1800s. We have a museum as well which gives you all kinds of maritime information and history about the city of Galveston. What's really important in Galveston is the shipping industry. It's what grew Galveston to what it is today. Before 1900, the storm that devastated Galveston, Galveston was actually the largest city in Texas. Because of all the shipping that came here, a lot of industry, they call Galveston the Wall Street of the South. So if you come to the Texas Seaport Museum, go on the tall ship Alyssa, come on the historic harbor tour, you're gonna learn a lot about the history and heritage of what made Galveston what it is today. Uh, the Strand, which is very popular and a lot of people come down to with shops and restaurants, was actually the waterfront. Harborside Drive, which is on the other side of it now, was added by filled in dredge material and sand. So. There was a lot of cotton exchanges, custom houses, a lot of industry and product came through and out of Galveston. A lot of cotton uh, was shipped from Galveston to the East Coast as well as to Europe. So if you want to come and experience some of the real history of Galveston, come to the Texas Seaport Museum and you're going to learn a lot about its maritime history. Purchase tickets at the Texas Seaport Museum gift shop at Pier 22 next to Fisherman's Wharf or online. So if you come down to the dolphin tour in Galveston, there is a very good chance that you will get to see dolphins as well as learn a lot of information and historical facts about the city of Galveston. <laughs>